Greetings to another video. Today we're going to talk all about power versus heart rate, why I was wrong, and then which one is going to be right for you to use. Long story short, I've always used power to train, to ride climbs, just to be as fit as I can possibly be by doing training sessions based on power alone. I never used to, I've never really worn heart rate monitors in the past because I just was like, I want to use power because if you don't know, power is basically just the metric an objective number that you are pushing out on the bike. However, heart rate is the way that your body is reacting to that output of power. Until I had a really bad crash, I came off on a pothole and basically I had a bleed on the brain and I was out of the bike for a, quite a while. And then when I came back, not that I was trying to do the same amount of power that I had done before, way, way lower, but my heart rate was still so much higher. And that's when I started using heart rate because I was like, I want to know how my body is responding rather than just being like, I wanna do this set power because I wanna get fitter. I wanna do this set power up a climb, for example. I wanted to see how my body was reacting and it wasn't reacting very well at all. My heart rate was so high for even low power. So I was like, okay, something is still not right in my body and it's putting a lot of extra strain and a lot of stress so I need to lower the power even more and from then I actually started training with heart rate only not really looking at power I was using like heart rate zones to train with because I couldn't trust the power because my body was not wanting to do any of the power that I'd done before because of this massive injury and it doesn't necessarily need to be a big injury like I had to want to be able to look at power to monitor how you are. So I would 100% recommend all of you cyclists out there to use a heart rate monitor if you don't already, because I think it offers so much more information and just metrics. And I know a lot of you are gonna be like, I don't wanna use any metrics, da, 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 da. like I don't wanna use power, I don't wanna use heart rate. If you don't even use either of them, I would still recommend that you get a heart rate monitor because I'm gonna show you something now from the last like 10 days or so because it's gonna prevent you getting poorly in winter. And I always, always use a heart rate monitor in winter. I'm not as good in summer, but in winter I do for this exact reason. So let me just pull on to two little workouts that I did this well in the last 10 days. So these are the two workouts that I did probably about 10 days apart. One of them, basically they are the same type of ride. They are tempo rides. So I was doing two lots of a set number of minutes. So the first one was 20 minutes, two lots. The second one was 25 minutes, two lots. And you would think that the, the longer, and you'll actually see from the data, the power was higher in the longer period. You'd think the heart rate was higher, but actually it is not the case. The, the shorter session, like, I don't know, seven days before, and less watts had a higher heart rate. And I know how I felt on the, both of those sessions. The first shorter one where the power was lower, I felt shocking. I was, it was so hard and I was like, this should not feel this difficult. And from then, because I looked at my heart rate, and I knew how I felt, but the heart rate kind of consolidated that. And I was like, maybe I'm coming down with something. So I just eased off, didn't do any kind of training just for a little bit. I was just like, I just need to ease it, little, ease it back a little bit. And then you'll see the week later, the session that I did, I did a longer session. So I did two lots of 25 minutes. The power was higher, so the objective value was higher, but my heart rate was lower. So that means that I was better rested. Because of the thing, heart rate can be affected by lots of things. So it can be how well rested you are, how hydrated you are, also the temperature of the room. So there's lots of different factors involved, um, but they were, I did them pretty much at the same time. They were similar conditions. So I know from the rest that I had that that was the reason for the change. So just get a heart rate monitor. You've just got to get one because it's so important. I was so, so wrong about them. And because you'll probably have had it where you've been on a climb one week to the next or a loop or a circuit. You've done one week, you feel amazing. The other week, it feels harder. And if you don't have a heart rate monitor to show that your heart rate is X higher, it's just all kind of just going on feeling. I like, I like metrics, I like numbers. So I'm a little bit of a geek. I'm a heart rate monitor geek now, specifically when I'm doing training on Zwift, for example always have heart rate. So I want to talk about other heart rate monitors that I use and that I like. So the first, well, they were both Garmin ones. Love Garmin heart rate monitors. They're just so reliable, super soft fabric. The first one is the Heart Rate Monitor Dual, which as the name suggests, it pairs with Bluetooth or ANT. So it's going to pair with your phone. It's going to pair with your iPad, your computer. 
any kind of trick on your head unit, anything that you need it to pair it to, it will pair to. The strap is really soft, really comfortable, and I, th I would think if you're a cyclist specifically, this is gonna be the best heart rate monitor for you. However, if you are wanting like the top range, do it all, so like extra super soft fabric, then the H, I can always remember, heart rate monitor, HRM Pro Plus is amazing, especially if you are a triathlete or a runner, or you play team sports. Because basically what this does, the first thing is the strap, I'm just gonna show you the strap. Like, oh, look how soft. The other things that this does, and that, to be honest, I only got this one because I wanted the extra soft strap. I don't really use any of the um, other features, but it's got loads, I didn't even realize it did it until I was like looking into making this video. I was like, oh, I'll tell you what they're all about. I was like, what is all this? It's magic. Basically, the first thing it does is if you are a triathlete, it works in water, so if you are like transitioning, you don't need to put um, your heart rate monitor on in the transition, you can just wear it throughout the triathlon. The other thing, if you are a runner, it has running like dynamics in this. And I need to read what they are because there are a lot. So the running dynamics of this, cadence, vertical oscillation, ground contact time, ground contact time balance and stride length. Oh, and vertical ratio. And these are all designed, oh, it's got dark. These are all designed to help your running form. So if you are a runner, 100%. Also, if you play team sports, actually, I should just mention, that needs to pair with a smartwatch to do all those functions. Also, if you are playing team sports, the other clever thing about this is it actually stores data within that if you are out of range from your watch. Say, for example, you need to leave your watch in your bag and go and play a team sport. So overall, I think using a heart rate monitor, I think even just on the basis that you can understand what your your normal heart rate is for certain sessions and certain rides and certain climbs, so that when it's kind of out of those ranges, you are aware that you potentially might be getting ill or there's other things that you need to look at, such as sleep, hydration, or the temperature. I just think it's a really clever metric to use if you want the best out of your cycling. And let me know how you use heart rate, if you use heart rate and power. I mean, I still use power as well because I love the power, okay. This is only meant to be a bit quick video. I get chatting, don't I? Uh, all right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next video.